I was thinking about this and that. Where, where would I go? Where would I lay my head? Darquetta Obona has called Nina's place home for the past six months. It definitely has helped me gain independence. Um, it's provided me with a safe and secure place. But the YWCA program in Flint will close its doors after losing out on a crucial federal grant. The last federal grant um, only allocated 15 programs within the nation. And right now we don't have the funds to carry us over until we can reapply at the end of um, 2016. Nina's place opened in 2011. Right now it's looking after 10 young women. We provide a safe and secure housing. We assist with um, some of the barriers they may come up with as far as enrollment of school, um, obtaining and maintaining employment. Since the grant ran out, local charities and foundations have been keeping the program alive. But even with a price tag of $240,000 to run Nina's place every year, the women and the staff aren't giving up hope. Maybe the, the news would, would bring to light some other local funders or donors that we were not aware of. No matter what happens, Darquetta says the program and the staff has changed her life forever. It definitely gives me hope.